Roll away and crushing incidents during coupling and uncoupling are an industry-wide problem. Every year there are a number of accidents resulting in large-scale damage, serious injury and even fatality. In addition to this, there are countless other near-miss incidents that go unreported each year. Accidents can often occur due to a failure to follow safe coupling protocols. Tight schedules, deadlines and hectic working conditions can also be a factor in coupling incidents. This can all result in a trailer being left in an unsafe condition without the part brake applied. This particular trailer is now left unbraked ready for the next collecting driver. When the next driver arrives to collect the trailer, he is completely unaware of the impending danger. Should the driver then fail to apply the handbrake before leaving the cab, the entire rig is left at risk. At this point during the coupling process, it is only the spring brake actuators which are holding the rig in place. When the emergency red air line is connected, air pressure begins to build in the brakes and eventually the spring actuators are released. At this point the whole unit is now completely unbraked and free to roll away. In the event of an accident that results in serious injury or fatality, where health and safety legislation has been breached, it is not uncommon for companies to face prosecution. In addition to large financial penalties, Extreme cases have seen revocation of companies' O licenses. SafeConnect by Maplefleet Services is the solution. SafeConnect is a pneumatically operated valve positioned close to the fifth wheel coupling. In the same scenario, where the trailer part brake and the tractor handbrake are not applied, the entire rig is potentially at risk of inadvertent movement or roll away. However, with SafeConnect installed, the unit remains secure throughout the coupling process. SafeConnect restricts airflow down the emergency line, which in turn physically prevents any movement. Normal braking functionality is only restored once the driver is safely back in his cab and has depressed the foot brake. 